Question 20. <laughs> what outrageous conspiracy theory do you think might actually seem like a logical argument? Or a legitimate? I suppose there's a real question there. Okay, okay. Oh, flat earth. I'll be honest. For a while, uh, when when the when uh, the book uh, that Eric von Däniken wrote came out, Ooh. for a while I thought he had a pretty good case for uh, gods being from another planet. It's probably why I still like um, Stargate SG-1 because that's pre pretty much based on what Eric von Däniken thought. Mm. But, yeah, the, the whole uh, Chariots of the Gods thing. Yeah, he, he did he did have a pretty compelling case when the book came out. I, I got to agree, that's definitely up there for me too. Um, I don't know if that's it, but that's definitely top one of the top choices, Ancient Aliens. And for him and Zachariah Sitchin, I got really into Zachariah. Um, I ended up buying the Earth Chronicles. He wrote a whole bunch of books called the Earth Chronicles and ended up reading them. So yeah, I, I definitely go with that too. Now, now any any kind of, um, uh, for me, um, I mostly automatically discount any kind of government conspiracy unless it involves the CIA. The, the like CIA conspiracy theories, I find more credible because the CIA does some shady shit, yeah, and and they don't share their information with anyone. <laughs> love the government, yeah. though. The the original concept for Nibiru. Okay. Uh, not the stupid ass internet thing now that Nibiru swings in and comes close to the house, something yeah. that's going to come and hit us one day. But the original one that there could have been a large planet out there that this that perturbs um asteroids are in the kuiper belt and splings them into the inner solar system every now and then mm. and now that we've yeah. got an idea that there could be a planet x out there mm. it is possible that that could sort of be true if it's out of the plane <clears throat> you know what, what, yeah. what got me what got me about zachariah's books with nabur and all that it wasn't so much all the, the crazy stories it was one thing in particular that stood out to me he spoke about how um the the moon um <laughs> It's part of the Earth because another planet crashed with the Earth and created the Moon. I've and... heard that before. And well, that's and vaguely you know, true. Well, yeah. and, and, right, 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 hold, on, hold on. What got on you watch wasn't so much the story. It's not so much the coincidence of the story. It was the fact that he wrote this book like in the seventies, mid or early or late seventies, and it took a few years for science to kind of like start talking about what actually is what could have occurred. Um, I found that extremely interesting, and that's why I kind of go towards that route of saying, hey, if there's any truth to what they're reading and interpreting, you know, let's look a little more into it because I, the coincidences are kind of weird. But that's where you get to the point where you get the imagination. Right. Just because someone imagined something and it happened right. to be close to the truth doesn't mean that they predicted no, something no. or that they not at all not at all we're just talking about why we found it interesting yes that's, that's what interested yeah. me yeah that, that's what pulled me towards I mean, that for every one of those ones that is close there are hundreds that are miles and miles away well, mm. tell yeah. me about it. well no, I, I, and one. <laughs> I got a good one uh-huh uh marilyn monroe okay by the kennedys specifically bobby actually was there when he when she died uh -huh. there's there um they're, they were uh, bugging her place, actually, and there's a recording of, because they bring a, a EMT or a doctor, you know, she had her doctor come in to give her her, you know, shots or whatever, but I mean, she died without any capsules in her stomach at all, yeah. and she died hours after, or hours before they claimed she did. Bobby had been there, people knew he had been there with the doctor earlier that day, so, just saying. Hmm. Was she pregnant? I heard. I heard she was pregnant. Uh, no. She. He was leaving her. Or no, Jack was leaving her. Uh, John F. Kennedy was leaving her. Um, and she was. She had said she was going to go and say shit about both of them because she slept yeah. with both Bobby and John. Uh -huh. And John yeah, came there that day to talk her down. And the doctor gave her more meds that she had already had. 
Mm. And so she started to die. And Bobby said, should we get somebody in here to save her? And, yes. or no, the doctor said that. And Bobby said, no, let's just see what happens. So they stood there and yeah. I've heard the, the recording. They stood there and listened to her die. Also, um, uh, another one I find uh, somewhat credible is uh, mostly because of my wife is the um, <laughs> the uh, the the queen killed uh, Princess Diana mm. or had Princess Diana killed. Yeah, that's that's, that's that's absurd. That one, I've got to say. Yeah, that that, that, that that an accident that she survived that they could have predicted that she wouldn't have been wearing a seatbelt that she would have hit that point in the tunnel. That there are too many. There are too there many. Are if they were going to kill someone, there wouldn't have been that many things Very that needed old. to add up. Variables yeah. is the right word. I agree with that. And and yeah. the root and the root was off as well. It wasn't. It wasn't a logical root. So. Robert yeah. Ro Robert thinks his favorite conspiracy that might be real is that Trump is the president. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my. Uh... My my answer for you know conspiracy theories that might be real is pretty much anything involving the CIA. <laughs> oh, so so we could add in Roswell. Yeah. But is that I thought that, I thought that was an Air Force base? No. no in in Roswell in Roswell uh, supposedly uh, a flying saucer crashed. And okay. And then, and then uh, the government okay. made it public. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that might have Okay, I'll, I'll admit my answer. The CIA doing shady political shit. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I worked, Peter, I worked for NASA. I'm telling you Roswell is bullshit. Okay? I know, Don't I know. But it's still, <laughs> that's what they <laughs> want you to say, Amanda. As far, as far as You've been paid. <laughs> you literally, <laughs> you literally have a paycheck from NASA. You lose yeah. all credibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I get that. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't argue with flat Earth people either, because you know, you're like yeah, but you work for them. You're a shill for them. Like no, fuck that. I didn't work for the shuttle program, by the way. I work for the education program. But I do know. See, so, so that was the perfect cover for you to sneak in and change something on the shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Fuck you all. Education. <laughs> sure. Fine. Whatever. But yeah. But it. So the only kind of government cover-up conspiracies that I will give credence to is if you know, is if they involve the CIA, because for the rest of them, the government as a whole is too incompetent to cover anything up. I'm saying this as someone who is a military intelligence. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the thing with most conspiracy theories. It's not that the conspiracies don't happen. It's just don't stay secret. Yeah. Wasn't that a contradiction in terms? Military intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can't remember where I heard that. Yeah, for, for oh, three Jay. years of my <laughs> life, I, I, I was living in oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> And um, that, and the thing about uh, MI is, you're either already a nerd when you go into it, or it turns you into a nerd. <laughs> it's got to. What was it for yeah. you then, Ray? I I was already a nerd. I I uh, I played D and D in AIT. So yeah, right. Kind of weird as much. Ma Mama Question. atheist. Mama atheist. Yeah. Have have a oh, hold on hold on. Uh, have have a look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> talk talk about conspiracies, right? <laughs> the moon landing. No, don't and, and that's bullshit too. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 you know, it was all me, all it was me. All I you. made it. The moon landing, they can't get over the fact. I don't understand how anyone can get past the fact. That's why I that, made this video, just to, to, to fuck with the people who keep telling me that the moon landings never happened. Well, I mean, let's look at the Apollo program and all the fucking shit that went wrong, starting with Apollo 1, which exploded on the platform. Apollo yeah. 8, there was a lot of issues before it went up. Apollo 13, who didn't even make it to the moon. 
I mean, there was just way too oh, much. Oh, not just didn't make it, it's not didn't that. make it back. It's not <laughs> that, though. I think the thing that rules it out as in any way as a conspiracy is Russia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Cold yeah. War. The uh, Cold War t gets rid of it. I mean, if that... Yeah, and Russia I mean, is uh, like, yeah, you went to the moon. Yeah. 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 yeah, there ain't no way your your major opposing power is going to own up to the fact that you did it. Yeah. If there, if you didn't do it, it's just yeah. not going to happen. It's, it's insane. If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here.